Well, for more on this, African Affairs Analyst Collins Nweke joins us now from Brussels. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Mali, Guinea, Chad, Burkina Faso and now Guinea-Bissau all hit by coups or attempted coups in the last year and a half. Why are we seeing such upheaval in West Africa right now? Uh, the reason we are seeing these uh, upheavals, uh, Oscar, is the fact that um, uh, we have a continent, particularly the region of, um, you know, West Africa, uh, that has uh, very, very weak institutions. That's for a start. And then, secondly, the um, economic and uh, political performances of uh, these uh, countries in uh, West Africa has uh, been nothing less than uh, abysmal. Now, when people are hungry, when um, politically they do not feel fulfilled, um, then the um, military officers do have a reason um, to actually uh, seize power. And these uh, military coups are nothing but um, fraud. Fraud in the sense that uh, they come in uh, trying to, um, you know, sell uh, prosperity, or they claim that they want to sell prosperity and security to uh, to Africans, to the citizens of those countries. Uh, but uh, over the years, we have seen that those military officers are not better than the, um, you know, civilian uh, regimes that uh, you know they uh, took over from uh, by uh, by the barrel of the of the gun. So yes, uh, it's a very abysmal uh, situation. We know West Africa, particularly the Sahel region, has been struggling to combat a, a years-long insurgency there, uh, some with the help of foreign forces as well. What role does that have to play in the military takeovers that we're seeing now? Well, uh, first and foremost, the military in those uh, regions are very much underfunded. The morale, the morale is very, very low. And uh, corruption, of course, uh, eats very deep into, uh, into the budget, uh, such that uh, they are not able to uh, beef up uh, the fighting powers of, um, you know, the, uh, the military, um, you know, uh, arm of, uh, of government. And so uh, that in itself is, uh, is a huge uh, problem. Uh, but, of course, um, the role of the international uh, community, the donor agencies, and uh, some of the, um, you know, uh, imperialist uh, powers, the former uh, colonial powers, particularly uh, France, have not quite um, helped issues. Of course, in um, uh, certain areas, in certain parts of uh, West Africa, they have, um, you know, achieved uh, a measure of uh, success, but uh, generally uh, they have not uh, really matched their rhetorics with uh, enough uh, support to uh, guarantee uh, uh, security of the people. And, uh, you know, this is not theoretical. We see that play out everywhere, where, whereby uh, ISWAP and the rest of, um, you know, ISIS uh, leaning uh, groups uh, are actually having an upper hand uh, against, uh, you know, the national, uh, you know, security uh, forces. So all of these indeed, um, you know, give the military the pretext, the excuse to uh, seize power. In the aftermath of some of these coups, we've seen scenes of celebrations on the streets with people welcoming the military takeovers. Why are people preferring the military over a civilian-led government? They do not know better. The people don't know better because uh, obviously they are buying into the uh, rhetorics that the military sell to them when they uh, seize power, which is that you have lacked uh, prosperity, uh, there is no security, we are going to give that to you. And uh, of course, um, you know, in the absence of uh, a, mil uh, sorry, a, a government that they can trust, in the absence of uh, a government that uh, makes people thrive, not just survive, and even very few people are surviving, they are merely just, uh, you know, etching out uh, a living. Uh, when all of this happens, and somebody comes, in this case the military, and says, I am going to give you that which your government has not uh, been able to give you over the years, of course uh, they jubilate. But uh, such jubilations are really short-lived because sooner or later they find out that the military is not better than the civilian uh, regime that they hosted. Okay, Collins Nweke, we'll have to leave it there. But as always, it was really good to get your analysis. Thanks again.